Good evening and welcome to TVC News at 10, the edition which features our Sunday specials. We begin the news tonight with the political development across the state as Ekiti State has now a new governor. Biodun Oyebanji has been sworn in as the fifth democratically elected governor of Ekiti State. And dignitaries in their numbers attended the ceremony which marks the end of the second tenure of John Kayode Fayemi. Mr. Oyebanji of the All Progressives Congress was declared winner of the June 18th governorship election defeating his two closest challengers, Shegun Oni of the Social Democratic Party and B.C. Kolawole of the People's Democratic Party. Ayomide Ajegui has more in this report. It was an historic occasion as it is the first time a party is producing a successor in Ekiti State. Biodun Abayomi Oyebanji, the Cogsabon administrator, is taking over from John Kaede Faimi. The oath of office was administered first on the deputy governor, Munisa de Afuye, and then the governor, Biodun Oyebanji. The governor says his administration is premised on six pillars and gave his word on the massive support of the Ekiti people for the presidential candidate of the APC in February 2022. My mission for Ekiti State is to be a land of prosperity, opportunity, peace, and progress. A land in which transformed people and communities can reap the fruit of their labor in dignity, good health, and safety. A land of honor where integrity matters. If it is best position for peace and prosperity under the leadership of Ashiwaju Tinubu, and I'm sure that we will deliver our votes for him. Am I speaking your mind? The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashwaj Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in his remarks congratulated the new governor and thanked the people for their support while rallying the people of the state ahead of next year's election. And I'm sure the peaceful conduct of the election, the great results that we harvested, demonstrated what AKT stand for. Another election is coming. My favorite, you will be ready as the president. Will you vote? Baby, will you vote? You will vote? I will vote. Present at the inauguration are dignitaries from within and outside the state, which includes the former governor of the state, Peter Ayodele Fawashe, former governor and minister for trade and investment, Otumba Ni Adebayo, the governors of Lagos, Ogun, Ondo, Edo, Plato, KB, Jigawa, deputy governor of Oshun State, and former governor of Samvara State, among others. The people of Ekiti are in high spirit. They want the best. And the governor has promised to deliver the best. Abayomi Ebanji is now under scrutiny. It will be judged after four years. The people of Ekiti are hoping that his administration will usher in not just peace, but prosperity. Ayomide Ajay, TVC News, Ajay Ekiti.